Hello guys, welcome back to yet another review video. In this video, we'll review Oxygen OS 10.5.10 for OnePlus Nord. I've been using this from almost four days. We won't be covering any kind of change logs. We'll check out the performance, battery backup, camera segment, and all other bugs which were available on the previous update. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here I have my OnePlus Nord currently which is running on the stable version of Oxygen OS and that's the latest one which is Oxygen OS 10.5.10 and also we have a great news for you guys this week we'll be getting Android 11 first open beta for OnePlus Nord users so if you guys haven't subscribed to our channel make sure to subscribe and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video as soon as we get the Android 11 open beta 1 you guys are gonna see a video on that I've been personally facing an issue on this current build of Oxygen OS for OnePlus Nord and which is related to launcher and it's not all the time sometimes whenever i open the recent panel i see a glitter or slight lag while opening it so if you guys are facing that issue do let me know in the comment section below because that issue was not available on the previous update but if i open recent panel after a long time on this current build i am facing that issue after that another issue is related to wo wi-fi which is again not stable on oneplus nord it automatically keeps switching between volte and voice over wi-fi and the same issue i used to face on my other oneplus devices on the initial builds when wi-fi calling was introduced but now that has been fixed and i don't face any kind of issues with wi-fi calling on my other devices so still this has to be fixed by oneplus for oneplus nord series few users also complained about that second sim card is not working on previous builds but on this build, I did not find any kind of issues related to SIM cards. I have personally tried both the SIM cards on my OnePlus Nord. One was Geo and the second was Atel and none of the SIM cards had any kind of issues. On the previous update, we had the issues related to colors while zooming in. But I think that has been fixed and I don't find any kind of issues while zooming in the camera and no changes to be seen in the colors. Though we don't have any kind of camera changes done with this latest update. Mobile data issues are still present on this current build of Oxygen OS which is 10.5.10 for OnePlus Nord. We still get to see frequent data disconnection issues while playing games like Free Fire and sometimes we are not even able to update the Google feed if you are using mobile data. So these two bugs are still present on this latest build of Oxygen OS for OnePlus Nord. And another major issue is related to Bluetooth. So whenever I'm on walk and I'm using my Bluetooth headsets, which is OnePlus Buds Z with my OnePlus Nord. And if I've kept my device inside my pocket, I see lots of issues related to connection. I'm not sure this issue was present on the previous build or not. But after updating the device to latest version, I've been facing such issues with my OnePlus Buds Z. But if I'm using my OnePlus Buds Z in the same scenarios with my OnePlus 8, I don't face any kind of issues. With this update, OnePlus have also added this new feature of nearby charging station. So this can be mostly used on the airports or railway stations. If there is any OnePlus charging station available, this will notify you with a notification pop-up. And until unless you guys require this feature, make sure to disable it because this might drain extra battery of your device. So these were the few minor bug fixes and the bugs available on Oxygen OS 10.5.10 for OnePlus Nord. Now let's also take a look at the battery backup. Slight improvements I've noticed when it comes to battery segment. Here we have a chart of 4 cycles after the update and this is completely a normal usage without any kind of gaming. And as I always say, battery backup depends on many factors and every individual have different battery backup. You can check out the screen on time what I have been getting after this update. With first cycle I got 4 hours and 1 minute of screen on time. Second cycle 6 hours and 5 minutes of screen on time. Third cycle I got 5 hours and 4 minutes screen on time. And with fourth cycle I got 4 hours and 13 minutes of screen on time. Now let's also take a look at the overnight battery drain in idle conditions. On day 1 I noticed 4% of battery drain in 6 hours. On day 2 I only noticed 3% of battery drain in 7 hours. So I personally feel improvements have been done related to the battery after this latest update of Oxygen OS. Now talking about camera, I personally did not want to cover this topic but few users had asked me to do that. First of all, there are no changes done with the camera application. The version on the previous update was 4.4.123 and the same version is available on this latest update of Oxygen OS. But still, front camera does a good job when picture clicked in good lighting condition. But I'm still not happy with the performance of front camera. It completely overexposes the pictures in both portrait or normal mode. OnePlus needs to improve front camera performance on OnePlus Nord. If you are more into photography, I would recommend you guys to use the Google camera instead of stock camera on OnePlus Nord. So in terms of camera segment, I don't see any kind of improvements. 
Last but not the least, let's also talk about the performance part after updating the device to latest version. I would say slight improvements are also seen with the memory usage of the device. On the previous update, I used to get around 4 GB of memory usage in my past 3 hours and this also completely depends on your individual usage. Here I am talking about my personal usage where I have observed slight improvements. And when it comes to gaming, I don't see any kind of issues. I have played lots of PUBG on this device with higher graphics settings and device was able to continuously deliver 60 FPS throughout the gameplay. I did not even notice much of heating issues while playing PUBG in higher graphics settings. The max temperature which I noticed was around 41 degrees Celsius. So performance wise I did not notice any kind of lags. It's a pretty good update when it comes to battery and performance. And if you guys haven't received this update you can download the files from the description below and do a local update. And if you guys were waiting for my review and suggestion then I would say you guys can upgrade your device to the latest version if you still haven't. There are no major issues available. Most users have issues related to battery and performance. Battery and performance is pretty good on this latest update. So guys this was all about the review of OnePlus Nord running Oxygen OS 10.5.10. If you have any kind of questions then let me know in the comment section below. This is your friend Ashok signing out. See you guys in the next video.